Hey guys, what's going on? It's a Super Kamikaze here. And sorry about not uploading a video yesterday, but my mum took my stuff because she was kind of in a bad mood. Well, you know, it's pretty much all she is in these days. But anyway, guys, this video is a Remington Chemstrike. Now, believe it or not, I found this Remington Chemstrike almost impossible to get, and I finally found the right setup to fucking get it. Now, there's a perk in this setup that I thought I would never use in the whole of Call of Duty Ghosts, and that is the three attachments perk. Because I always found, I think it's useless because, you know, it takes up three slots. It's not useless if it took up two slots, maybe I might use it. But, but the fact that it takes up three slots, I didn't think I'd ever have to use it because I think it was just a waste of three slots. But for the Remington, I really needed to use those three slots on Extended Mag, Suppressor, and Red Dot Sight. Now, in my most popular video, I think, on YouTube, there's like 400 views or something. It's, I have a Remington class set up for free-for-all, which is Suppressor and Extended Mag. Now, when you put that online against other players, uh, like 66 lobbies, not free-for-all, it's not as good as it is in free-for-all. Free-for-all, that class I gave you is an absolute monster. It tears people to shreds. But because in 6v6 online, there's longer range battles, you're going to want to have a better Iron Sight than the Remington Iron Sights, which I find a pretty shit. And, it, like, the red dot sight is basically, it has no recoil once you put the red dot sight on it. But when it has no iron sight, it kind of has weird jumpy recoil. And, I just find, it's red dot's more precision, the iron sight's really clunky. It's not very accurate because it's got three tiny little prongs, and they kind of block up your whole vision, so you don't even know where you're aiming half the time. This is why I needed a red dot sight. Now, I tried running suppressor extended mag, and again, that's what happened. I couldn't pick off people as fast at longer ranges, and if they had good accuracy, they could beat me. And then, you also want to be connecting your Remington bullet to long range, because this thing only does 20 damage at long range, so it takes 5 bullets. So you want to hit as much bullets as possible. So then, I thought I'd take off the suppressor and run red dot sight and extended mag, so I could just go to town. I had a few nice streaks. On Octane, I almost got a 2.5 minute chem strike, but the game ended on a 23 gun streak, unfortunately. Ah, oh, I, I was so close to that one. But th I never found a noob lobby like that again. If I find a noob lobby, I'll definitely use the Remington Unsuppressed again. But because I'm finding some good players, um, it's really hard to beat people without being suppressed because they always hunt you and then you're going to get overrun. And because the Remington, it has such a small clip, I always need extended clip. But because I wanted to suppress as well, and I wanted a red dot sight, I tried removing extended clip and suppress a red dot sight. But then I found myself running out of ammo while shooting people and dying because of it. So then I tried to put it in slate of hand as one of my default perks, so I could have a quick reload. Because this gun has a super slow reload as well. But it's still, if you're reloading, you're still not shooting your weapon. Doesn't matter how fast you're reloading, you're still not shooting your bloody weapon. So I really wanted three, those three attachments, and then I'm like. Fuck it, I have to get the three attachment perk, and I just bought it early, and I got this. And, well, in my first game using this, I got the chem strike. This is the perfect combination for 66 lobbies. Suppressor, red dot sight, and extended magazines. Now you're seeing this gameplay around here, I start head glitching here a bit, because this Remnant chem strike, I've been going for a few days now, and it's been so long. Like, it's torturous. I'm coming closer to a chem strike with the CBJ MS SMG than I am with this thing. And I saw it on a 20 kill strike. I really didn't want to die. So, I did, I was just playing a bit more campy. I do leave this spot, don't I? But yeah, I'm coming closer to the CBJ than I am with this thing. And I really didn't want to die, so I started playing a bit more defensive and it slows down the gameplay a lot. So, I might actually fast forward this up a little bit. It also didn't help that I wasn't finding any, any enemies in this whole time as well. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go into quick class setup here because it is a bit different from my usual class setup because of the three attachments perk in there. So my startup perks are Ready Up, Stalker, Dead Silence, Focus, and the three attachments. Now, Focus, I used to have that in my specials package, but I really saw, found out I needed it in my gunfights. So I put that in Dead Silence, Be Silent, Stalking, and that are all assault rifles. Then in my strike package, scavenger, because this gun, because of the low clip size, means you don't have much spare ammo, so you're going to want to have st scavenger straight away. And then off the grid, because you want to be stealthy as fast as possible. Slave of hand, again, because this thing has slow reload. Then in the bonus, lightweight, marathon, blind eye, and amplify, so I can run around faster. I'm invisible to oracles, and I can sound haul like a beast. So you saw quite a few sound haul examples in this game. Anyway, it's the end of the gameplay, guys. Drop a like if you like these daily cam strikes, and sh sh be sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost cam strikes. Peace, Superman Kamikaze out.